I'm just glad started. to be one of your cats, George. Yeah, bro. Okay. Get pretty, okay. get pretty close to that. We're just about ready to start. Can you hear me in the back? All right. This is good. Well, I wanted to. I want to welcome you uh, on behalf of everybody here to uh, the uh, really the first performance in this space since who knows when, right? Uh, it's uh, it's wonderful to be able to give you an impromptu Poor Wheels Almanac here in, in uh, you know on a Friday night in the middle of the rain and, and so forth. So uh, welcome, welcome, and thank you to you all for coming to to see uh, George and Bob here. Um, yeah, let's hear it. All right. I, it is a uh, it is a equinox celebration, right? Um, and if you're wondering why it's cold, it's because almost it's almost always cold at this time. And the uh, the the termite migration moon is getting fuller and fuller, and so uh, you know you can expect chill until it's passed. Uh, so anyway, uh, we got to put up with that. Um, many of you have been asking me what week of early spring it is, and, and, it, and it is indeed the fourth week of early spring. All right. So uh, middle spring is just a little ways off. There are many, many things to think about, and I wanted to... Uh, um, George and I have, have been kind of fighting about honeysuckles for I don't know how long. When I first started to learn about plants, I, I learned about the most common things like the, the, the honeysuckles and the um, uh, whatever. Uh, and the, uh, I would mention them in my column and George would just see me at Tom's and just shake his head. You know, you see what the heck, you know, th this native stuff is the important stuff. Right, it's the native stuff, and all I learned was the non-native stuff, like garlic mustard. I loved garlic mustard, right? And I loved, you know, dandelions and anything I could identify at first as I was learning about these things. I loved it, and then come along to find out that I'm loving the non-natives and it. It's terrible. So, but I also didn't know that that George was a pawpaw person, right? And and so, uh, as I was kind of browsing through things, you know, seeing if I could find something about him on the on the web, I found a great article about pawpaws and and this man right here. So. Um, look it up. It's a real nice article from um, WYSO and uh, from a year or two ago, right? And it's very informative about pawpaws. Right? Yeah. Oh, oh the, the, that's, the, that's the audio video, yeah. Yeah, it, uh, it's video. So, at any rate, that's enough of poor Will's Almanac. And so you got the, you know, you got the weather, you got the plants, you got everything. Now, now what you need is a little music, right? So uh, let's give a hand to George and Bob. Go for it. Uh, questions? Are there any objections to photography? Uh, no, just put money in the tip jar, Bob. Okay? Not electronically, just the real stuff. We're going to start out with that. Uh, Go ahead and count it, Johnny Shine.
You got it. I said, mm, 140. You want to go down and count them for me? <laughs> a lot of them, son. That's I the job I leave to you, George. Yeah. So, where are we? So, the next cut is supposed to be so fine. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. All right, dude. I don't remember how it goes. Uh, <clears throat> I wish I had a. Uh, well, uh, maybe I've turned this PA up a little bit. Can you hear me talking to you? Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna. Is the guitar too loud? Are you alright? I got a little tone. Besides, you got people way back. Good to see y'all back there. This is a song I learned in high school, and uh, it always made the people want to get up and dance. So uh, here's one I like. It's, ca it's called uh, So Fine. Maybe you know this song. It goes, my baby, so doggone fine. You know that one? Yeah. So fine. Yeah. So fine. So fine. Yeah. My baby, so doggone fine. Sam's cold chills up and down my spine. Whoa, oh, yeah. So fine. 
Time to get a drink of water in a minute, George. Sure, man. Right. Right there. I got some home water in here. Water from up home. We've been living up in Logan County. You know where that is, right? Home of the Nortados, right? Nortados. That's right. They just had a Nortado. Yeah. You say Nortado, I say Nortado. Nortado. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to dip into a little uh, Elmore James here, my favorite electric blues slide guitar player. So yeah, I'm George Beery, and uh, I'm glad you guys all came out. We're playing some blues tonight, uh, root music, music that has soul. So hope you enjoy. you're doing and come on home I can't hold out I can't hold out too long I get a real good feeling talking to you on the phone
this is that rumba. Can't stop loving on eBay. Awesome. All right. I'm going to George has taught me. I've got to say in my life, I have played some blues songs, but I've never played with a real blues guy. Not since Yank Grishel in about 1987. I played with him for one weekend. But this has really been an education, and George, I have really learned a lot of music playing with George, and it's been great. I want to thank you. Okay, so we're going to just move on down this list, and then we're going to get into the second set. It's going to be wild. I'm having a wild a uh, percussionist show up, so we can really groove. Okay. So, this is more Elmore James. What's this called? It's called Can't Stop Living. Oh, this is the rumba. <laughs> Dupree. 
We're we're playing them together? We're playing, well, you, you, we, we slashed you. You kind of went into that other song. No, wait, no, I don't. I, you, you don't think so? All right, well, you want to play Betty and Dupree. No, then. no, I, I'll, I I'll, I'll play whatever you want. I don't care. All right, all right. Betty told well, Dupree. Uh, it was late when we did some of this. I, uh, a lot of time in this damn list. I like to make up uh, right. words well, I'll play to songs. I'll play, I'll play some deep feeling, and then you, I think you're going to get into it. Cause I think all right, all right. This is Betty Told Dupre with a deep feeling. <laughs> Community support, or well, I was end up with the you know Menards and driving to Fairborn. That's right. I don't want to do that crap. That's no. right. So uh, we've got to try and support the store, and it's you know. Anyway, I that's my fix there. So the thinking, Frankie and Johnny, 
Sea. Yes, Frankie and Johnny is the one you were talking about. This is in the Sea of Key. Yeah. All right. I'll probably I'll probably lose you, but that's all right. But I'm not going to do another couple song. No, no. Not right now. Oh, oh. Oh no. Okay. All right. That that would be blasphemous. Okay, we fine. can't. Uh, I got you. We, we well, can't. we'll get back to that. So we're going to do uh, we'll do Seminole Blues. <laughs> Sing, uh, which one? Come back, baby. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Is that the same? Oh, song? no. You can't do that. Can't oh, yeah. I want to, though. Uh, well, see, so you got it. Yeah, yeah. I think that's. Right, you said come back, John. Is it? Go ahead. What's he saying? A. Key of E. Go ahead. This song goes like this.
Somebody ought to be coming through the door. All right. Uh, so you don't want to do that other song, all right? No, I'll do what song you want to do. Oh, uh, that, that, uh. You want to do that? It hurts me too. Or you want to, you want to do that? Is that too close I'll, to what we just did? It's kind of close yeah. to what we just did. Let's, let's do something, something down, something. down, kind of funky. Oh, let's do something vicious. You want to do that? You want to get to the next? Something vicious? Okay. Wait a minute. I don't know. I heard rumors. People were saying, where are they going to dance at? Well, you can dance back here with the feed and stuff. There's, there's room there. We, we just couldn't get rid of any chairs. We didn't want to disappoint too many people. Uh, I kind of think I want to wait on that till he gets here. So. Well, you just take your pick, George. I'm yeah. with you, bro. I got you. Frankie and Johnny. I love that song. Don't you? I'll play a little bit of it. See. I, I can't say I'll get all the way to it, but I do know the moral of this story, and I'll get to that. I can sing the Johnny Cash version if it helps you. Dude. I'll let him do his thing. <laughs> let said, him start. Don't, don't let him. Okay, here we go. He knows you. I don't. <laughs> no, just don't get it. <laughs> now this is funky. Turn the film. It goes. <laughs> it goes. <laughs> Love. Oh, they 
swore they'd be true to each other, just as true as the stars above. He was a man, but he was doing her wrong, right? You know all about it, don't you? <laughs> well, now Frankie went down to the bar room. You know, I think your, your loving man just stepped up the stairway with that nasty old Nelly Bly. He might be your man, but he's a do it your own. Want to play it, George? Go ahead. You know, she climbed up to that transom. <laughs> Woo, what do you think she spied? Oh, she saw her man. And he was doing her wrong. Yes, sir. Ooh, now, Johnny was in there with his hands every, oh, ever, over, ever, over, ever, over, over, ever, every piece of that Nelly Bly. Oh, my Lord, it made her so mad. She just, she just. Said, oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny, I have loved you so, but Johnny, you know, <laughs> you're about to die. You are my man. But you've been doing me wrong. Uh -huh. Well, now, you know, Johnny got himself together. You know, he was just about to, just about to take and run. But you know, oh, oh Frankie, underneath that silk kimono, <laughs> she had a smile. Way up down, ow, shot him dead. Stay laying there. Don't shoot me no more. I gotta be buried in this suit. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, what am I gonna do? He wasn't mad, but he was doing it wrong. Now, here we go. This is the best part. The moral to this story. The moral to this song is that one should. not belong. He was a man, but he was doing it wrong. I say he was a man, but he was doing it wrong. Bob Lucas, ladies and gentlemen. Singer. That's folk music. Hey, Bob. Oh, boy. So, Ryan, are you in here yet? Yeah. Never. <laughs> well, I'll have to write that in next oh, Ryan, time. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Don't ever carry a gun. Yeah, that's right. Well, I don't think he had, I don't think, I, I, no, I don't think Johnny knew what kind of woman he was dealing with. <laughs> Whew. So, he's still not here, huh? Who? Ryan, I guess I'm gonna do that ballad. It hurts me too. I can do that now. Do it, do it, do it. It's kind of slow like this yeah. one though. Well, yeah. well, 
They're gonna dance after a while. All right, let's go. You gotta have, you gotta have faith, man. Are you in the key of E? It's a young crowd out here. <laughs> yeah, it's in it. <laughs> this is a signature, uh, signature tune of mine that I didn't write, of course. The Elmore James tune, but it's one of my favorite tunes. And this has got a great lyric. I might mess it up a little bit. <laughs> Hey guys, 
guys, uh, George and Bob are ready to get cranking again, and this time we've got Ryan along as well. Uh, well I don't know day. if you know, I'm Dan. Uh, I own the hardware store now, and um, I thought this would be a lot of fun, and it has been for me at least. I hope it is for you guys yeah. too. Oh, yeah. Um, so, uh, Oh. It's kind of funny. This is kind of all a Vale, or at least Vale-oriented uh, crew. George, I've known for the past 30 years or so. We've been neighbors. Uh, Bob, he's got all kinds of family that's uh, either on the left side or the right side of me, uh, yeah. depending on what time of day. Yeah, that's right. And they're happy to be there, too. Yeah, he's brought some really cool people into the mix lately. Uh, Ryan and his family uh, also are, you know, what, three houses down from us back there in the woods. I can see uh, your house from my house. Yeah, yeah. if you squint. <laughs> uh, so, you know, these are all people that we know and love and appreciate, and all of you are too. It's really fun to see, you know, there really aren't any new faces in here for me, I don't think. And that's a kind of cool feeling for me. Uh, so, I uh, appreciate you coming in. I appreciate you hanging around. I appreciate these guys for sharing some blues with us. And I'm excited to see what they got to, to share with us now. Thanks, Dan. Yeah.
she gone. Drive her to the corner, babe. That was elevated, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a dance tune. Uh, you guys know who Tommy Tucker was. He's a blues man from Springfield, Ohio. He wrote this song. I think it was a number one hit on the R&B charts in 1959 or 60. It's called High Heel Sneakers. It's classic. We used to say this at those human events at the Bryan Center. If you can't dance to this, you're dead. <laughs> oh, did I say that?
Cuts and then we're gonna get to some. We'll get back to you, Bob. Vicious. Will well, we no, bleed? Let's do. Let's do. Well, let's do, let's do speaking of, let's do a hand me down. That's a great vicious cut to you. Hand me do. down, huh? I have a. I have a. I have a passion for writing songs. It's been fun. It's a great puzzle for me. Figuring out writing songs, and, and this we're going to sing one of the songs that I've written now. I don't think it's typical of all the songs I've ever written, but then none of my songs are really <laughs> typical. So, but anyways, uh, here we go. It goes like this. Smile 
Songster, really <laughs> belts it out. That's uh, you won't hear that any place else. I, I, I would, you know. If you made a video, I gotta charge you money, okay? Well, we made a rule back when I was <laughs> first starting to write songs if you write them, you have to sing them. You have to sing them. <laughs> it's, oh. it's no fair, you know, you, 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 you gotta be able to sing them. So if you can't sing them, then nobody's gonna be able to hear them, and then they're just dust right, in the wind. Now, this next song is a, one of my favorite songs and Bob is the only guy that can play it that, that I've played. It's not that complicated but it's, it's a Robert Johnson song. Ah, the Love in Vain. 
Oh, I love that song. I was singing about that song today. That's so beautiful. If any of you old hippies out there, you might hear a little bit of Rolling Stones in here, because of course they ripped off Robert Johnson, of course. They say, steal from the best. <laughs>
want to switch back and forth? Uh, no, I'd, I'd be glad to sing something. Uh, well, you got a I, bunch uh, here. You got running and hiding, brain cloudy. I don't remember that. Oh, let's do that. The brain cloudy, the brain cloudy yeah, blues. That's, yeah. yeah. That sounds familiar. That's kind of where I'm at. All these young people out here in hell. Happy, you still out there? Right there, sorry. The, this is the one that has those stops in it, George. Remember? Oh, okay. I'll probably do for that. No, don't go ahead. It just march right through it. It right. don't matter. <laughs> Watch out. We're in the mood now. And there's going to be some even more vicious stuff coming oh. up. <laughs> Let's see. Now, I play that in the G of key. <laughs> you know, the, That's G, correct. That, the key of G is the people's key. But then, what is the key of the bourgeoisie? <laughs> oh, the, the, the key of G is song, the people's song. key. <laughs> what is the key of the bourgeoisie? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Bob, quit drinking. I want you to know. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I, I told you I quit, but I just started again. Oh, God. <laughs> No, I'm all completely off the wagon. You're going to ruin our career. I know, but at least there's no small planes involved. So, <laughs> You know, I learned... <laughs> my years in folk music has taught me, uh, if you're a woman, never, ever go out in the woods with a guy named Willie. <laughs> Not good. You know, Willie, dear... Uh, Everything bad happens. And especially don't go down by the river. What happens to the plane? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. If you're interested in earning your private pilot's license, there will be a class tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank wow. you so much. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't know how to start. Oh, we were going to do brain cloudy. Yeah, yeah. Well, my brain is cloudy. My soul is upside down. I said my brain is cloudy. My soul is upside down.
I love those old, I don't know, they're kind of half blues songs. They were written by professional songwriters, you know. But uh, so. they really got soul, those, some of them yes. old songs. So this next cut, I shouldn't introduce it. It's not one of those, but it's, it's, it's one of my favorite vicious cuts. And it's actually two songs that I've combined into one song. Because the tempo is very close. Maybe speed it up a little bit on the seconds. Maybe that's too, so, too much. I get so excited, Jordan. Jordan, I have to speed up. <laughs> Thank you. 
one is called Hawaiian Boogie Part 2 by Elmore James. That's, that's a tough one. You get the band that did the rhythm right. You know, they speed it up. That yeah. We're talking about the, the, the first guy got messed Fire up. Fire the bums. You know, I'm going to hear about this all day. No, no, no. You know. <laughs> that was good. That, it worked out. Uh, we just wanted to get out. <laughs> yeah. We just some couple guys trying to have some fun. You know. Oh, you sorry, guys. Just be glad I'm not BB King, man. Find you people. Get I, off the bus. I, I, <laughs> That's the first guy was hard, man. All right, so how about. Uh, I don't want to be on the bus. Want to do Key to the Highway? Uh, I don't care, man. Are you call What's, it? How's the time looking here? It's 10 hours. We got two more cuts. There is a song I'd like to sing. Mm hmm. This is an old time Have we done song. It? This is the ver one of the very, I think this is by far the earliest blues song I ever learned. I learned it at, when I was 13. I had a band called the Youngins. <laughs> we were a folk trio. And we were precocious as hell. What key is this in? Key A. Okay. Our favorite key. All right. It's called... <laughs> It's called, uh, and this is, a, this is a, I, I just love the song. It's called Trouble in Mind. It goes like this. Ah, uh, gee.
on the list, man. It was on the list. You were making this like this was a song that I didn't possibly know, and you wrote it well, when you were I 15. have to. But All right, I'm going to get revenge now. We're going to All right, play. no, wait, wait. I just wanna, I, my reply to that is that I have to somehow, you know, maintain some sense of mystery to you, George. Oh, okay. All right, all right. That sounds good. So now this one has a kind of a tough bass line, but Ryan can pick it up. This is Rumba. In G. G. And uh, guess what? I wrote this tune. This is this is an original tune by me. Very few. George's Rumba. George's Rumba. I don't know it. G. business you got there, George. Hey, brother. Sorry about the vocals. That's that's the instrumental. What? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what time is it now, guys? We got one more. One more. Yeah. Want to play that one you don't like? No. <laughs> Just teasing. All right. Uh, I want to 
to tell you before we go, I, I feel like we're getting to the end of this meeting. We, I, we're definitely. This before is... we go, I just want to tell you about this guitar that I'm playing, uh -huh. which I, my son Austin gave to me. He got a, he's in the music business and he got some kind of endorsement from Fender, and they gave him two Fender Telecasters exactly the same, match pair, and he gave this one to me. Yeah. It's an American-made Telecaster. I don't get a chance to play it too often, how much, as you can probably tell. How much, how much, you, how much you, do we do, you don't miss your water? Oh, oh can we? That, that'll be the last cut. Oh, dude. All right, now, I love this song. Uh, <laughs> Hang it, Ryan. You're doing good. <laughs> now, this is a waltz, so, and, but it's kind of fitting that we have, a, if it's the last tune, we have a, a last waltz. Otherwise, I'd have to know. stick my neck out and do something <laughs> fast. <laughs> What's uh, it? it's in G. It's in G. It's got, you know. Oh, it's got some, some changes. Well, whatever. Uh, no, Joe, just play the blues, man. Yeah, okay. Don't worry about go the changes. It. It. You, 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 <laughs> Don't let the changes get in your way, man. I don't like that rock shit, man. I don't like the changes. <laughs> All right, so it's Root. like one, Root. two, Root. three, two, three, two, three, one. Can I bet I don't So loud. In the beginning, you really loved me, but I was blind. I could not see. But when you left me, oh, how I cried. That was the solo that we used to do.
Thank you so much for coming out, folks. It's been real nice. George, you mind if I say something to you? Sure, man. Hey, you guys, I am so excited that you guys showed up and that this happened the way that it did. This was an awful lot of fun for me. I hope it was for you guys, too. Uh, you know, my wife and I have been a little bit nervous and a little bit, uh, uh, you know, on edge about what to do with this place. You know, the hardware business is not what it was prior to Menards and Lowe's and Home Depot and all those guys. You know, the Ohio uh, uh, Hardware Retailers Association used to be something like 18,000, now it's something like 40. Oh. Uh, you know, uh, it, it's getting to be a tight market and it's uh, important for us to find other ways to make use of the space and let the store continue to be what it has been and what it needs to be and serve the community in different ways and this is a way that we felt like we could you know inject something uh, worth doing so if you don't mind uh, we'd love to collect your email or phone number or whatever the heck at the back side over at the counter so that we can you know give you a buzz next time we've got something going on here um, because there's more coming up this weekend if you're interested in learning how to fly Dan Leaf over on Hyde Road he's a flight instructor he'll be teaching a ground he was, he was school kidding. course in here uh, so if you want to come to one of these information sessions to learn a little bit about what it takes to learn to fly that's going to be going on this weekend there's some more next weekend some more the weekend after some more the weekend after the next real show that we've got on the books isn't until the 20th of next month that'll be a, a improv show that we're doing in here uh, Justin who's somewhere in the back he started the black box over in Dayton he and I and uh, our friend Mike Zernecki who's up in, in Troy and uh, Andrea Fantacone who's in Columbus now we used to perform together quite a bit and uh, so we'll do a show in here we might stick something in between here and there too you know it's a month away who knows what'll happen uh, but yeah, we'd love to stay in touch with you and uh, try to keep this space uh, Feeling like it's got some good energy to it. So thanks so much for coming out. Really appreciate it In about 20 minutes, I'm gonna assume you're here to help me clean up <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the